Look at my new helper. <laughs> I'm slowly getting drug into the 21st century. This screw right here is way down inside, so I got to use this torch to get that out. And the magnet. by hand. Take long with that. <laughs> Let me set this ratcheting feature right down to one. That's a pretty neat feature right there. It prevents you from stripping screw heads out. Especially don't want to strip the plastic out of this housing. And so it's got a little feature where the bit is disengaged. reaches a certain strength, a certain torque. Let's move this out of the way. Now what usually happens in these drives right here, you have two pre-charge relays, two pre-charge resistors, and the, the contacts inside these relays will weld themselves together so you no longer have pre-charge to uh, pre-charge these bus capacitors. These capacitors pull a lot of current and eventually those contacts will weld themselves together. I'm going to grab my meter and we're going to check those contacts. Yeah, look at that. We'll get closer, but I've got zero ohms of contact resistance across those two contacts. And zero ohms here. The contacts in both those pre-charge relays have welded their selves together. We're going to have to replace those. Let's get closer and look at the contact resistance. zero ohms of contact resistance. The 0.2 ohms is my meter leads. That's the first pre-charge relay. Here's the second. And again, there's, get on her, there's, there we go. There's 0.2 ohms. There's zero ohms of contact resistance across both pre-charge relay contacts. We're going to have to replace those two relays.
I'm adding a little bit of solder to help the old solder flow and it also helps us get through the conformal coating Using solder wick to wick up the solder that the solder sucker didn't catch. I've got my iron heat turned all the way up so that I can melt the solder on these thick traces right here. turn the iron down when I'm soldering on ICs but work like this requires a lot of heat those thick traces will soak up the heat from the soldering iron okay, now I'm pushing the leads of the relays away from the walls of the via one relay and there's the second relay let's check those contacts again put my meter in beep mode so you can hear the continuity of the two contacts there look at that those two contacts are welded together both relays are bad. Now their part number, HF115F, 
manufactured by Hong Fa. And I have two new ones right here, same part number, same manufacturer. We'll install those. Got my ring finger holding the relay in. My index finger and thumb are going to hold the solder. We're going to tack that in. Then, afterwards, we'll solder the rest of the leads to the board. See how they look. Right, they all look flush. There we go. Now, let's measure across the relays now. We should see the pre-charge resistors. Now these, right here, can you see them? Am I in the frame? These two plates right here, these are the pre-charge resistors. They look like little hybrid modules there. Check this one. All right, there's 25 ohms of pre-charge resistance across those two contacts. And there's 25 ohms of pre-charge resistance across these two contacts. We're good to go. All right, all. You fixed another one. <laughs> good job. Good job. We'll throw that back together. And I can't test this here. This is a... This drive is uh, much more complicated than I can make it run.
I like to get the screws started into the plastic threads before I use my cordless drill so I don't strip out the threads of the plastic housing. There we go. Well, let's see what we can do. I really like that feature that disengages the, the motor. The way you don't strip out the plastic housing. You hear that? <laughs> That is really cool. That one I need to see a little bit more. Okay. We seat this one. There we go. All right, that's easy with that that tool right there. Look at that. Isn't that something? That's good. This right here sets the strength of the torque where it stops. See, as one to twenty-three. Then you set it to drill, and that disengages that feature. You have continuous rotation without no break right there. So. On this plastic, I set it to one. That is really nice. <laughs> I like that. This is this is gonna make life a, just a little bit easier. I used to do all this by hand. Well, you know, you've been watching me for the last what five years do stuff by hand. <laughs> okay, there we go. We got another one done. Nice. Oh, this is multi-drive Highline manufactured by Lindsay. And it is part number, let me get my close-up glasses on. And it is part number uh, type E94AMHE0094. Right there. Alright all. Thanks for coming over and seeing what we're working on next have a good day and we'll see you next time